My name is Kate Muma, and I work with an organization called Learning Undefeated. We are a nonprofit that teaches life changing STEM experiences. Today, I'm going to give you guys a fun little experiment you can try at home, probably while all of us are kind of stuck at home, and it's just something easy and simple to make. So, I'm going to teach you how to make a homemade lava lamp. So, all you're going to need is some vegetable oil, some alka seltzer tabs. Uh, food coloring and then a water bottle, plastic water bottle, anything works. We are a science organization, so we are going to be using a beaker for this today, but anything would work for you. So this experiment is going to teach you guys a little bit about hydrophilic and hydrophobic compounds, as well as mixing an acid and a base. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to gather all of our materials and make sure that you're using it on a surface that can be wiped clean from any oils or water. Second, we're going to go ahead and take our container. For us, it's going to be a glass beaker, for you it can be a cup, or preferably something with a cap on it if you want to watch it move around a lot. We're going to go ahead and fill this three-fourths of the way full, and we're also going to take these seals and brush this out. Hands are lotioning. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and fill this container about three-fourths of the way full. <laughs> I thought about how wide the base of this is. All right, so just because of the wideness and thickness of our, our container, we used all of our vegetable oil. If you want to use something probably a little bit taller and skinnier, like a cup like this, might work a little bit better. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get some water. going to add some water over the top, leaving a little space between the water line and the container. I see about there is good. So it should be looking a bit like this. Now the reason that this doesn't completely mix is because water and the oil don't exactly like each other very much. So since blue is my favorite color, we're going to be using blue for our lava lamp. If you have any other colors you want at home, you can go ahead and try that. Color doesn't really matter here as long as you've got some food coloring. So what you're going to do is you're going to add 10 or more drops to this little flask here. So we're going to add our food coloring to our container. Next, what we're going to do is get our Alka-Seltzer tab, and we're just going to open one tablet. Each packet comes with two tablets. We're only going to be using one for this, but if you have a sister or brother that wants to make one with you, you can make two. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the tab out, and I'm going to use a glass to go ahead and just break it up into small pieces. You could use anything that has a flat bottom. If you have a mortar and pestle at home, that would work too. You can ask your parents to help with this if you're below the ages of 12. All right, so now that it's broken up into smaller pieces, we're gonna add one piece at a time and see how it reacts. So I'm gonna add this one little piece first. As you can see, our lava lamp is lavaling. The alka seltzer tablets are basically activating the reaction between the oil and the water, and that's what's causing those bubbles to go ahead and pop up top. So you could either add all your seltzer tablets at once, or you could go little by little. And you can see there, it's working. So there you go, you did the experiment. It took no longer than three minutes. You can try this at home. And if you would like any more experiments for you to do in your free time, go ahead and head over to www.learningundefeated.org slash at home science.